chaos is just patterns we haven't recognized. What we call random is just patterns we can't decipher. These words are by Jack Palahniuk, a US writer and journalist. The main task during the defining phase is to work on a clear-cut objective to go towards taking what you've learned through observation, interviewing and immersing in empathy and turn this into compelling and actionable insights that you'll share with others. You will put together the pieces of information gathered to form a new mosaic. One approach to do that is space saturation. Uh, displaying, connecting and clustering findings of the empathy phase on analog, digital or hybrid walls. To generate helpful and inspiring insights, it's crucial to interpret and distill collected information, organize it, interpret it and make sense of the data, also by exploring connections and relationships. Doing this, you will also clarify shape and reshape the challenge or problems. Perhaps you will even redefine it. One possible approach is the point of view method, whereby you make statements that have a clear structure as described in the materials. Often it is helpful also to include answers to the questions who, what, where and why. A helpful part is to use the principles of storytelling to combine information in a way that it sheds light on details, for instance in regards to a procedure. During the defining phase you will also find and develop the how might we questions. Remember, a core concept of design thinking is to find ideas, approaches and possible solutions to wicked problems. We is not a group of designers but represents the impulses and needs of a clearly defined group of people. There are many possible ways to tackle challenges. Don't mix in solutions or specific methods and requirements in the questions. Include action-oriented verbs such as create, define, adapt. This helps shape the questions in a forward-looking and future-oriented way. These questions also help to prioritize aspects of the problem or challenge that should be tackled next. And now for some remarks and hints on applying the defining phase in a lecture. One core competency within any study program is to learn to deal with large amounts of data. It's not enough to find and list different sources, it's also about critical perception of data sources and implementing the principles of check and recheck. The most important step when building on research, observations and interviews is to distill all this information, explore patterns and describe them. Likewise, it is about combining items and also trying out ways and combinations that haven't been thought of before. Every learning process consists in some way of summarizing data and findings and by performing the summarization, connecting and distilling the learning process is deepened. And on the level of a key competency, the focus is on learning how to make decisions, on letting go and also on finding starting points for further steps. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching.